Welcome to the Cyber Station. Let's rock. Good afternoon, evening, night, whichever the three it is, I don't fucking care. Welcome to the Cyber Station. Gonna give less of a shit. <laughs> I am your host, Dead Rare. And, of course, I am joined by my co-host, not Slender this time, it is Matthew. Say hello, Matthew. Hello. And then we are joined by a guest once again for the third time. Not in a row, two times in a row, but not the third time in a row. Brad. Say hello, Brad. Hey, bro. And a new guest is a very old <coughs> friend of mine, Andrew. Say hello, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Okay. Uh, yo, he's about to get his whole Wi Fi turned off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Okay, that would actually be a good first topic. Let's talk about Andrew's fucking. Let's talk about all the dumb shit on that he's done to get his Xbox oh, taken a, away from that's him. That's a good topic. Alright, so. All the shit Andrew's done to get his. Xbox take it. All right. So, Andrew, <laughs> what is the dumbest thing on that you have done to get your Xbox taken away? <laughs> he got it taken as we speak. <laughs> we just we just lost under. Brad, that was, uh, well, we lost very quick. guys. Brad, what is what do you think is the dumbest thing that he done to get his Xbox taken away? Well, uh, one time I was breathing air and my parents were like, mm, "No." Nah. And they took my Xbox. <laughs> But the dumbest thing I've done to get it taken, um, well, I went in my mom's dildo drawer, took a hundred bucks out of it, because there was a hundred dollar gift card, and I bought Batman Arkham Knight and Mortal Kombat X. Then I got my Xbox story? taken for like, yeah. Remember when I wasn't on Xbox, like, all of 2017? Like, half of it? Oh my god. Yeah, I didn't have an Xbox. Wait, when you say dildo drawer, you're like, you being serious? Yeah, there was an actual dildo in there, and I touched it, and I was like, oh. Shit. Wait, okay, so you got... So you got it was M purple. So you got MKX and Arkham Knight? Batman Arkham Knight. Okay. And that's when I found out how much I loved Batman Arkham Knight. How long were you able to play those games until your mom found out? They didn't find out for, like, a solid three months, but then, like, I accidentally told them. Because I remember my mom was like, oh, yeah, we're... I was a hundred bucks, and I was like, oh yeah, I bought games, and I was like, oh. oh, 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 oh. Why did you, how was like, the, why did was you like, admit to that? How was the I'm accidental? An honest like, man. you are like, oh, fuck. <laughs> no. Just kind of an honest man. What about you, Andrew? I think after the dumbest we... thing I've done oh. to get my Xbox <laughs> taken away? Yeah. 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 Um, there's a lot of things I've done, but... What about the trash can? I didn't get my Xbox taken for that. I just got like screwed. Oh, <laughs> wait! <laughs> yeah. Well, tell the story. Well, yeah. Oh. Um, okay, so. <laughs> well. It was like 7th grade, right, Brad? 8th? I think it was 7th grade, yeah. Yeah, it was like 7th grade. And um, basically, I was like really fucking sick, right? Like, I, I stayed home from school for like three days because I had like you this high fucking to fever. World. Yeah, just got done. Blasting Astro World, you know, because Travis Scott, my La Flame, straight up. But um, basically, <laughs> yeah. But basically, um, my mom was like yelling at me about some, and then like, cause I had like, you know how like, whenever you're like sick and like you feel like you're about to throw up, you have a trash can right next to your bed. Well, like I had that just laying there, cause like you know I was really fucking sick and. That she was like screaming at me about like my grades or like some, some I don't really remember what it was. It was just something, and then I just got really fucking mad, and I was just like, you know what? Fuck this shit! I just launched the fucking uh, trash can at her. <laughs> like I literally just chucked it. Was there it? <laughs> no, it was, it was like empty. That's why oh, I did shit. it. Cause like I was just like fed up with her shit. And at that time, like do? I was just a. At the time, I was like an asshole. So like I didn't really have any fucking regret at all. I was just like fuck it, dude. <laughs> Do you have regret um, now? Yeah, that was retarded. <laughs> I got, like, yeah, you should have waited until there's puke in that. Exactly. Yeah, I, I, I should have gone um, back in time and just puked on her. 
I actually, <laughs> I can actually name a time that Andrew did something really fucking stupid to get his Xbox taken away. I think he was being really loud, and then his dad came in, and this this has happened like nine fucking times. But his no, dad it's happened came like, in, like eighty times. Yeah, and he <laughs> he goes like yelling at his dad or something, and then uh, there was something with clown music. I think it was. I think he started playing clown music as dad or something. <laughs> and and his dad turned his Wi-Fi off. And then we didn't see Andrew for like 10 minutes. And then he comes back and then his dad starts yelling at him because he turned his Wi-Fi back on. And there was just it was some stupid shit. It was like 2 in the fucking morning. And there was oh, just, yeah. there was <laughs> <laughs> they were just yelling Always at each other the while there was clown music playing. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't see Yo, Andrew Andrew, for another like week after that. What do like, you think Like, what is the dumbest thing you've done coming from you to get an Xbox ticket? Well, I I could probably give you a way more interesting story, but I didn't get. Actually, yeah, I probably did get its Xbox taken away. Actually, yeah, I was. What is this you did? What is it? The wor- what was the what was it? What's the dumbest the worst thing, thing you've done, done to, to get in trouble? No, 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 just to get in trouble, oh. not to get your Xbox ticket away. To get in okay. trouble. Yeah. What's the worst thing you've done to get in trouble? Um, well, there's, I've done my fair share of like fucking war crimes, <laughs> but um, <laughs> an honest man. But, but one thing I've done that's really stupid and retarded was it was the second so. It was my soft no, freshman to sophomore year, and I was at a church camp, <laughs> and basically. <laughs> oh fuck, dude! I was hoping you would tell the story. And at the time, I was like, you know, retarded, kind of like, been smoking a lot of weed. You know, I just didn't really give a fuck. So I was just like, you know what, bro? Fuck it! I'm gonna bring my wax pen to CCB, and I took it on the bus with me when we went to like the trip, and after that, I got. I got, um, what's it called? This dude named, I don't think his name. Caden? No, not Caden. I think it was Chase. Chase, um, that's but, who it was. Yeah, it, but basically he asked me for like a hit, and I was like, I bet, and I like let him chief on it. And then basically what happened was is I didn't realize that he was the pastor's nephew of the church. <laughs> and then after that, <laughs> and not only that, not only that, he would have gotten away with it, it but but then we got a knocking on the door, and it was literally <laughs> the nigga's a fucking uncle. It was, uh, and then he opened the I'm door while off. he was like off his like, <laughs> out, he was literally okay. He opened the door while he was like blasted off his fucking mind, and his eyes were like completely red. And he knocks on the door, and then he opens it. He's like, hey, um. Coach Kell, hey! And then Coach Kell like looked at him for like five seconds and just grabbed him by the fucking shirt and ripped him off the room. And then like, and then he like was getting interrogated in the hallway. Five minutes later, Coach Kell walks in with like two security guards, looks for everybody, and then and then he like found me and he's like, "Come here right now." And then they searched my bag and shit, found it. And then they just got sent me the fucking back home. No, 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 Andrew, where did you try to hide it? Yeah, where did um, you try to hide it, Andrew? Where'd you try to hide oh. the thing? Yeah. Well, at first I tried putting it in my backpack, <laughs> and then I was like, "Fuck it, fuck it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it like, um." It's so embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to say it for you? And then we that that before you cut the video. Just cut the video. <laughs> <laughs> he put it up his ass. <laughs> no, I did not. No, I did not. That's bullshit. Okay, did literally. You to put a condom on it too? <laughs> no, I did not. Who the fuck told you that? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm you. no. Oh my god, dude. Literally, whenever, did whenever. You try putting lube on it or something to try uh, and make yep. it go in there with less pain. No, 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 no. That's bullshit. I did not do that. Because if I would have done that, I wouldn't have gotten caught. That's no, no, no. I'll tell you what I tried Bullshit. doing. I'll tell you what I tried doing. I, I was like, I actually was trying to do it, but I, I literally let it like touch the tip of my asshole, and then I just stopped immediately. And you can, ask, 
<laughs> you can ask me Oh my bro. god! I'm not Yo, Dude. what I got told was, what I got told was that you, you, uh, you tried putting it up and it didn't work, so you whipped out like lube or something and tried to get. What the fuck? <laughs> That's oh what someone God. told me. Dude, literally, bullshit, whenever, dude. whenever you asked Andrew what, what was the dumbest thing he did, I was like, please tell the asshole story. <laughs> <laughs> it's really. Stupid. What about you, Alex? Um, What's the dumbest thing you've ever I done? I think to get the in dumbest trouble? thing I have ever done to get in trouble was in fifth grade uh i had a i had a really good friend and he he had this little canister of like fake blood and i don't know why but i i asked him if i could have it so he gave me it and i think this was during lunch when he gave me it and then after lunch we were just back in class i asked if i could go to the bathroom and I had the canister with me. It was like a little, like, small little, like, um... I think it was like a little small, like, like, like a green container. I went into the bathroom, and I don't know why, but I opened it. I just poured it all over and inside of a toilet. And I just walked out like I just did fucking nothing. Like I just took a shit or something. I walked back into class, and then, like, 20 minutes later, I get called down to the office acting like I did nothing wrong. <laughs> My, Did they catch you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's when they called call? me down to the office. My uh, mom got called, and then they're like, oh, shit. they're like, yeah. So um, your kid poured fake blood all over the toilet, and I kind of just, <laughs> I guess I tried to play dumb, like it wasn't me, when I was literally oh, the only fucking kid in that entire school who had like a thing of like fake blood. And I think I, I think I do. I think I try to pass it off, and that some girl had like a period or something. <laughs> no fucking way. I think I did. And oh my, my God. And I got sent home, and I was with my mom, and and you know, rightfully she uh, grounded me. I think I wasn't allowed to play Xbox for like, um, I don't know, for like for like a week or something. And in school, my punishment was was that I had to be a lunch lady. Oh fuck that! Uh, I was, I was serving. I think like third grade. I think like third, fourth grade, and I actually, I actually really liked it because um, I got to not only serve food, which I don't know why, but I don't find that as like or anything, but I got to entertain everybody else that was there. I would actually just talk to the fucking people that were there. Because they were only, like, a grade or, like, two below me. So, you know, we were pretty much on, like, the same level and shit. So I, I would just just hang out with the fucking other kids there. Yeah. It, it was actually really fun. And to this day, I regret fucking, um... I crossed my uh, principal. Nothing. No, no, I, I crossed my uh, principal. And I was like, hey, uh, do I have to keep doing this, um... Lunch lady stuff? I didn't want to stop because I found it a lot of fun. <laughs> and, really? and I don't know why, but I, oh, asked, I I asked him, and I was like, "Do I have to keep doing this?" And he was, and he was like, and "He was like, no, you don't have to do it anymore." And I don't know why, but I was like, "Fuck! Why did I do that?" And to this day, I, I still regret that because it was a lot of fucking fun. To me, pouring that fake blood down the throat, pouring that fake blood down the throat was actually worth it. My mom was fucking. So that was up. the the thing that you've done the most to get in trouble. That was the most trouble I got into. Yeah. Oh, I got you. What about yeah. you, Matthew? Uh, <laughs> fuck. Pick a story, any story. <laughs> any <laughs> story. Uh. What will it be, fellas? <laughs> I once got kicked out of school. One, two, for going... three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> I got kicked out of school. For walking up to a teacher and saying he looks like he's been through chemo, then called him gay, <laughs> then <laughs> gay cancer faggot. <laughs> <laughs> so we across them lines. I don't remember di directly. I'm going off what people have told me who were there because I don't remember most things. But all I remember is that that happened. I spent the majority of the day running away from teachers. Like I mean, like going into the toilet, staying in there for like half an hour. They find me. I leg it to another place hide there and then that was me for like the majority of the day i get 
brought into a, like you know isolation where they just like sit you down for like a whole day and let you think about what you've done where everyone just like pisses around and I <laughs> did I got brought to the uh, head off you know head teacher's office and she's just going on about how like you know how bad everything has been and I'm kicked I'm gonna get kicked out and I hear the bell go for school being over and I book it I mean I I walk backwards open the door walk back and just fucking book to the goddamn bus and that was me that was, I spent like a week at that school a week at two weeks at most week, whenever the bell rings you're just free to go right yeah you're just free to go yeah. that's bell so, yeah so they can't really hold you back yeah and then uh, I got brought the back the bell doesn't dismiss you the teacher does <laughs> yeah bro <laughs> the bell oh, doesn't miss you I do oh, shit <clears throat> the time you're meant to be living at doesn't dismiss you I do Fuck off. Yeah. Dude, I've, I've done so much fucking stupid shit in my entire lifeline. Brad, what's the worst thing? Like, worst, I can't worst think, thing. I can, I can think of three, but all of them are, like, equally as bad, dude. I, okay, one's really short. I remember it was right when all the school shootings were happening. I was in my you history class join. in seventh grade. How, how, many, <laughs> how many bodies? No, 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 no. <laughs> but, um, but right when the school shootings were happening in seventh grade, I was in my history class and I was like, yo, someone get the guacamole out. I'm about to have a fiesta. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I yelled at my teacher. <laughs> That's so fucking <laughs> My stupid. teacher was really like, funny. Brad, go to the principal's office right now. And then she started fucking crying and shit. <laughs> it was Miss Timberman, Andrew. <laughs> there was, uh, there was like 18 people in the office, so I got away with it. Because they, oh. I was in seventh grade. I was in seventh grade, so I didn't know oh. better but to blame it on anyone <laughs> else. So I was like, no, I didn't say it. I heard someone else say it, though. They were like, okay, who'd you hear say it? And I was like, I heard Gus say it. And then my homie Gus was like, no, I heard Noah say it, and then Noah was like, no, I heard Andrew say it, and Andrew was like, no, I heard this person, this person, this person, this person, this person, this so person say it. So, never figure it so out? So, we're oh, yeah. all in the office, and he's like, alright, I don't know who started it, but it's not funny. And then it was like, you guys are lucky, there's too many of you to give the detention to. And then we Dude. all got out of it for free. Dude, y'all be glad I, y'all be glad I, I... <laughs> Dude, I feel like an asshole, but like I kind of saved everybody because like there's so many people. Bro. But think about it. That's if we like the all one had ISS. That would have been fun as fuck. That's you remember no, because. Wait, what? Oh, I was gonna say if you remember if, if, enough, I, did, if I, I didn't snitch right, on anybody, guys, I feel three. like we would. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Brad, you go. Okay, I'll go. All right, in eighth grade, I think it was. Okay, so got, Andrew. <laughs> Were you with me whenever we got ISS for saying the Pledge of Allegiance too loud? I think that was... Oh my... Oh, no, that, wasn't that just detention? Or was that literal ISS? No, we had the... It was like the last day of school. We got ISS because we were saying the Pledge of Allegiance too loud. And the you last day of school, crap. they make us go sit in the fucking detention room for the whole fucking day, bro. And the, there was a sub in there and she was so chill. She just oh, yeah, gave us fucking that. Cinnabon. Remember that? I remember that. that was I remember that. Fun. Bro. But okay. another stupid thing I've done, dude. Another stupid thing I've done. I remember, like, one of the first times I got high. I was, uh. was at my house. And I had some edibles. And I ate. ate one. And. <clears throat> I thought it was a good idea to talk with my parents about politics. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, okay, this is how they found out, Andrew. By the way, that I, I had the uh, the weed in at my room. I went out there and I was like, I was like, hey guys, let's talk about politics. I don't remember the rest of it. What, Andrew? Yeah. What do you think the worst day of your life is? I've had a lot of fucking. Terrible days where I just am in complete fucking pain, but what do you think the worst ones? Well, I actually remember that day very vivid, vividly. Um, I mean, hmm. Yeah, it seems it's pretty fucking like, vivid. <laughs> it's, it's hard. To, I mean, no, I'm trying to debate if that day was worse than those these other days I've had. Um, okay, 
so in like sixth grade, um, I had like this really shitty day because I was actually, well, yeah, okay. So basically in sixth grade, I woke up. I was completely late for the bus, or not for the bus, I was late for school, so, like, my dad, like, screamed at me, like, for, like, an hour, not for an hour, but, like, just, like, screamed at me about it, and then after that, um, when I was eating breakfast, I spilled, like, orange juice, like, all over my pants, so then I had to wear, like, basketball shorts to school, and then on top of that, um... I like my, when I was like walking out of my house, my dog ran out of my fucking door, so I had to go chase my dog, that was just not and then dad. like, and then after that, um, when we finally got him, uh, my dad got mad at me because he was like, "Did you just try run escaping?" And then I had to explain to him that like the dog ran out, and then he like <laughs> me and him got into a huge, huge fight, and then, and then basically ended up like me like, one v oneing my dad, and then. <laughs> Um, <laughs> then uh, you know, like I was in sixth grade, so like I was really short. So like you know, I, my dad really gave me the one-two McGregor and, and like the deadly right hook to the fucking jaw, you know. And then I just took that, took that and fell on the ground. And then I, I tapped out because you know I just couldn't fucking, I couldn't do it, man. So, <laughs> but then but then the dad the dad would just like push the referee and just started kept annihilating the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then they had to like, and then they had to get like another another guy to like pull him out because he just wouldn't stop. And then <laughs> next thing you know, I'm in the ER fighting for my life. And then after that, um, that's when I saw Jesus. Everything was real up to the point where I said my dad gave me the deadly right hook to the job. <laughs> but basically, basically, but basically, yeah. And then at school, um, I got like three detentions for like not doing any school. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> How the <laughs> fuck did you get three in one day? <laughs> well, cause, cause I, got, I, got, I got one in Miss Waddles, I got one in Miss Genitalis, and then Miss Waddles two. dead. Yeah, I know. It was one. <laughs> no, I know, no. It was one in Miss Gallinger's, one in Mr. Zimmerman's, and then one in uh. What? Well, well, I don't know. It was my other teacher. I forgot. It was sixth grade. I had classes with you, bro. But um. Was it getting any worse? Did we? Uh. Oh yeah, and I dropped my phone in the fucking like toilet. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! So it was just—it it wasn't just one major thing that happened. It was just a bunch it was of just little a thing shitty after things. Thing after thing. Yeah, it, it was like, dude, I think if I tried like walking across the street, I would have gotten like destroyed by a car. Yeah, like my luck was. <laughs> Like I, my my luck was horrible. Like if I if I was walking down the street, I bet a piano would just fall on me or something. Dude, <laughs> dude, I bet. The car would come out of nowhere and hit you in the dick. Dude, I I dude. bet if you would have bought like a lottery ticket, you would have been like one number off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. They would have been reading the numbers. They're like nine, four, three, five. Yeah, and they have like four. <laughs> oh yeah, so that's like, basically oh. the worst day of my life. I I think I've had worse days, but like that was just like that's when that all really of the worst out. things. Right. Yeah, that's the one that just strikes my memory. Okay, what about you, Alex? Um. Okay. Worst day uh, ever. Well, okay. Um, going from going from that, it's not gonna top it, but it's pretty bad. I would say the worst day of my life. It's probably when I went homeless. Um. <laughs> so their story? No, 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 no. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, no, it's just really weird to, to talk about it. So basically, um, to, to give context, um, uh, I was living with uh, my mom, and we didn't have our own apartment, so we were living with my aunt and my cousin. It was a extremely fucking small apartment. Uh, I had to share a room with my aunt and my cousin. And my mom slept, slept on the couch. And it's like this for about like a, about a year or if not even more. It was, it was like that for a while. And um, one day, it just got a bit too much. And my mom and my aunt got in a really big argument. And we were just like, fuck it, we're not going to be here anymore. It's too much. So we we left. I was supposed to go to school. My uh, cousin was staying homesick. I was about to go to school, but they were arguing, and I was like, "I'm not gonna go to school." 
um, if anything happens, I want to be here to support my mom. So I didn't go. I was there the entire time with my mom. And we just decided to fucking leave. After we left, um, the only place to go was Salvation Army. Which, um, they, they, have, they have a homeless shelter. And it, um, the best way to describe Salvation Army's homeless shelter is it's like prison, but you're not arrested. It was the fucking worst, um... It was the worst living situation I've ever been in. And that day when we were out there, it was so fucked. Uh, <coughs> it, was, it was in the middle of town, so we had places to go to, but there was no internet. There was no fucking... There was really, there was, there was really not, nothing to do. The only thing that you could do was that there was the cafeteria, and there was your room. You had to be to your rooms by, I think it was 7 p.m. And you could only be in the cafeteria at certain times. And there was times where they would actually force their way out of the building to go make them do things. So, what the like, fuck? So, like, on, on our, like, first day, I remember exactly what it was. Uh, everybody had assigned chores. And the chores we were excited was, like, it was, like, cleaning the kitchen, doing the dishes, mopping the floor. I think we had the entire cafeteria. And that was, that was, that was what we did. That was our first, that was our first day. We, uh, we kind of just, we had, we had to share a room. And we kind of just existed. Like, it was fucking horrible. Uh, there was a room where, imagine a room where it's a bed in each corner. Like, like, left corner, right corner, there's a bed. There's a shelf next to each bed. That's it. It's nothing else. Fuck. There's there's no table. There's no TV. There's no fans. There's there's nothing. The only other thing that there was besides the furniture in that room was just a window. Uh, so you know, my family always sleeps with like a fan on or something. That that's a very common thing. So when you take that away, we kind of were just like, what the fuck? <laughs> I remember- Yo, we, why uh, my balls sweat? Yeah, exactly. I remember uh -huh. me and my mom got so desperate because we sleep with white noise, which is what the fan is for. Me and my mom got so fucking desperate that we went onto her phone and we downloaded a fan app just to get the noise. And, Why is it? And it, it, uh -oh. it helped. It helped. We uh, we uh, slept um, with that noise, and uh, fr from from there, it was basically just the exact same thing every fucking day, until about like three months later, and then we finally got. Into work. So hey, you were there for three months. I was there for. Very long. I have a lot. Of, I have a couple questions about it. Yeah. Um. So. You said it was like prison, so like, what, were you able to leave you were able, like, during the day? You were able to leave, but you had to be home, I think, by 10. Um, they forced you what? out. They, they forced you out of your rooms. Um, at some point, you were forced to be inside of your rooms. Every night, they would check to make sure that everybody was asleep by 10. They would go, they would, they would go to your room, they would open the door, they would see if you're asleep. Um, some some things were normal, like you were you were forced to shower every day. That's normal. That's fine. With but, other people. Um. Yeah. Actually. Um. The bathrooms were like like the shower rooms were giant um rooms that had just maybe well a three inch brick wall between each stall. There was there was nothing stopping from someone just opening up your curtain. It was right there, open to everybody. Shit. Um, I'm sure there was no like security guards in there or anything. There was there was one in like the main room, and I and I mean in like 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 the not secretary but the like. So no like, like bath. Like, there wasn't one in the bathroom though. No. <laughs> um, Shit. The food that they would give you would be either donated food or um, microwave ramen, and that was what everybody had to eat. 
I think the best oh, meal we ever got was McDonald's once and donated a bunch of food. And there was like 200 chicken nuggets. No patties, but there was like 40 fucking like, like um, like a fish fillets. There was like a bunch Ugh. of fries and shit. It wasn't good shit. It, it was like expired like two days. But we didn't fucking care, dude. Food was fucking food, so we ate all that shit. I remember I had like 90 fucking nuggets. I had like 30 fucking like fish fillets. I ate so much of that shit because at that time... That was a goddamn blessing, because normally what we, what we would be eating is, like, uh -huh. it's like soup Shit. or, like, stew. Like, really not typical things that you would want to eat every day. So when you got a mm -hmm. fucking, like, when you got, like, a chicken nugget, that was literally like Jesus was walking on your tongue. Like, that was, like, the best shit. There was a family there hey. that uh, was very abusive. There was a father there who had two kids. They were fucking assholes. <laughs> there was a woman there who thought on that she was a, like a fucking like rock star. What a shit. What? Yeah, she she thought on that she was um a part of a fucking gang. I think she was. I think she she was saying on that she was in. Um, what what is it called? Um, Tons of Anarchy. She was saying on, on that. No she fucking was, way. Uh, the yeah. TV show. Yeah, she was saying on that she um has duetted with like musicians before on stage. I think she said that she duetted with Green Day. Oh yeah. She was talking about yeah. all this shit, dude. And, like me and my mom were we were only friends with her because we had no one else to talk to. The worst part was she was a wannabe juggalo. Oh know, no! Was, oh, there not was, them things. There was there was a time. Where, uh, I think it was every Sunday, everybody had to be out. Me and mom had nothing to do. We'd usually go to the library, usually read, or bring her, like, a laptop and watch movies on there. Because our library had movies and shit. Uh, the library was closed that day. So, we had nowhere to fucking go. And what we did was, we went with her. We were there with her boyfriend. This dude literally looked like if Mater was a human. Oh my god. <laughs> What's so fucking the dude who plays Mater? <laughs> they had friends, um, they, they had friends with them, and they were so fucking creepy. Like, we were, we were listening to ICP, and me and my mom were like, what the fuck, like, how has our life gone down to this point? I was a fucking one to be juggling. So I took that as like an uh, opportunity to like show off that I knew all the lyrics and shit. <laughs> I was a fuck. I was. I, I used was to a, listen to ICP. Yeah, Wait. I was a really so. Big dumbass. So, whatever like you would go like let you know how the curfew is ten for yeah. that place. Whatever you would come like at like eleven. Like what the fuck would they do to you? Like they would they would get mad. At like just mad. Like, would they let like, you in? They would, they'll let you in, yeah, because they, they, they have to, but, like, you know, you're, like, way past your Do they, like, have to, like, fucking like scream at you? Yeah, yeah, they throw, throw yeah. signs on when that happened. The only reason why... To like, you? No, not, no, not to me, because me and my mom, we, we followed by, by the rules. I had to shower, and, like, keep in mind, I was, like, 13. I had to shower with, like, you know, like, all the adults in the shower room. There, oh, there, what the fuck? There was an actual family there, and there was a room that was specifically made for it if there was a family. And the family had their own bathroom. Dude, literally, we were there for like three months. I didn't get to actually use that family bathroom until the last, like, two weeks. Why? I don't know. They, they, I don't know why they never thought about that, but just randomly one day after I, I've been showering with the same room as a bunch of fucking grown men. That's when they're like, oh, maybe he should go use the family bathroom. Why? Cause, well, because you're like a minor or yeah, cause a I was, kid? Yeah, because I was a kid and I would have my own yeah, privacy. Yeah, minors shouldn't be showering with like 60-year-olds. <laughs> I, I remember there was a time where like, like I was just sitting in the shower for like 30 minutes and, there, and like a dude came in. He was like, starting, he was like yelling at me. 
why? Kind of pissed on him. Cause he, <laughs> cause, <laughs> cause he was like, he, he was, he was like, why are you taking so long? And, and, and I was, I was like a 13 year old kid, and, and I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I was beating my dick. Leave me alone. What happened uh, if you got caught jerking off there? Um, I don't know. It never happened. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like. Oh, so you never got caught, or you never did it? Uh, funny story. Um, my mom, uh, she only had data on on her phone, and uh, my phone had no data, so I had to download images on my phone at like the library. Uh, and because I was a growing up fucking teenager going through puberty, you know, I was doing shit. And I had the, you know, I had stuff on my phone, and, uh, whenever I would use my mom's phone, because she was on that dad, I would watch, like, YouTube and stuff. My mom would use my phone, so she could, like, you know, like, play games. Uh, well, one time, uh, she went to take a picture of her food, grabbed the wrong phone, looked at the camera, and saw a bunch of shit that she wasn't supposed to see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, oh, that's and always before, before me and my mom went to, I think it was like breakfast, she was like, so Alex, uh, I accidentally went to your camera roll, and I was like, oh, fuck my gosh. <laughs> but she actually gave me a, a good talk uh, about how, you know, that it's fine that I'm doing that, just I need to make it more private. Because it was just open on my phone. Like, there weren't private images, like, you literally just like camera rolled, it's just there. Like you would literally like like go to like send like a picture of, like your dog and you're like oh tits. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, look at this dog. Oh okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um. She goes to show her friend like, hey Barbara, check out this. <laughs> uh. Don't yeah. Check this out. Yeah. Um. Pretty much so, any other shit. I, I. Yeah, Andrew. So what the fuck would you do like when you like? Go into your room, like, what do you do? Just, like, sit there and stare at the wall? Well, because my mom had data, she would be on, on her phone watching YouTube talking to people. I had her laptop, and Wait. thank fucking god her, her laptop had a DVD player, so I would, like, watch movies. <laughs> oh, w w one more question. Um, Actually, no, I got two fucking questions. Uh, yeah. So, make up your fuck old in mind. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. How, how old were you? Like, what grade were you? And then you went into I this was, Salvation Army. I'm pretty sure I was 13, and I was in 6th grade. Oh, shit. Shit. Yeah, this, is, this is a very um, long, this is a very, very long time ago. It's like 2000, like 15, 2016. because you're, what, wow. 16 now? Uh, like 17. He's 17. He just let these birthday. Also, also, when you guys oh, left so your you're 15 house, now. When you guys left your aunt's house, um, were you able to bring, like, everything you had there, or...? That's actually a very good question. Um, okay, so we had... ...bags that they gave us that we had to put our belongings in. I, uh, because, you know, I was a kid. I brought, like, plushes, I brought toys, you know, shit like that. Um, also brought, you know, like, clothes. Um, yeah. Because, like, when we showed up to there, they were like, you guys have, like, you know, clothes or something. I think what happened was that my grandpa drove us back to my aunt's, and then we just, like, got bags, and we just, like, picked out, like, what we wanted. And we had to wash our clothes when we first got them to, to make sure we weren't bringing in, like, lice or some shit. Make sure we weren't bringing in, like, fucking, like, bugs or something. Is that place um, still open? Yeah, it's yeah, it, it's still a thing. Yeah. Oh, Brad, you want to go live there? Of course. Yeah. It's so Sounds like the life. So fucking bad. Can I Dude, join? On our I'm very, the... on our yeah, very Matthew, last come day, with me and the, Andrew. the reason why we left was not because it was like, oh, we got like a house or something. No, the reason why we left was because it was so fucking stressful on my mom. Um, we were able to get into a apartment, but we weren't. Uh, gonna have it to another like two weeks and it was so much of my fucking mom that one day she eventually just had enough since she broke and uh we just fucking pack all of our shit we called my grandpa it was like hey can we just you know, stay with you 
until we get our apartment and he said yeah so we lived there for we we lived there for a while yeah i was gonna ask why didn't you just like go move in with him instead of that that one place guests can only stay in a location at my grandpa's place for only two weeks oh Plus, okay. where is your grandpa um, oh oh wait no he he's in a he's in like a retirement like retirement home yeah so you, you uh, can only have guests there for two weeks also you know we didn't want to have to stay there because we were, we were at Salvation Army for about three months. We didn't want to have to stay at my grandpa's place for three fucking months because his place was already pretty small as it was. So we didn't want to stay there for an extremely long time as my mom is trying to get a job and she's trying to find an apartment. But luckily, we had everything ready to go. It was just a matter of waiting. Is that when she started working at the thrift store? No, she... um Actually... The reason why we got into this place was because um, it's for low-income families, and she was, uh, we were living on my dad's child support. So, for the first, like, two or three years we were here, we were living on my dad's child support. My mom was not working, she was unemployed. Oh, I got you. It was only until about maybe two years ago that she started working. So, you know, Got you. very, very interesting shit that turned from worst day of life to, hey, did you know I was homeless? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. I, I remember the question I was going to ask like three hours ago. Um, When you went into that place, did, was your mom uh, unemployed? Yes. Yeah, she was She was trying to find a uh, job throughout that entire time. What was, the, what was the whole reason why you guys have even had to go in there? Like your mom like lost her job or... No, it was my mom and my aunt had a very big fight, so we decided just to fucking leave. And you guys were living in your aunt's... How long did you stay there for, like... About a, about a year about the, and a half. Uh, was it good there? Mm -mm, I mean, my aunt and my cousin are really, you know, not the cleanest. Like, um, imagine trailer trash, but instead of in the trailer, it's an apartment. Uh, yeah, my mom tried uh, to get the place fucking clean, but dude, it was it was bad. Not not a good position. Damn, bro. I uh I I had to get off of my Xbox at like ten, which was like not a good. I mean, it wasn't like that wasn't bad or anything. The problem was was like I had no fucking privacy because I had to share my room with the both of them, both my aunt and my cousin. So I literally had no fucking privacy at all. And a matter of fact, I slept with someone in my room for so fucking long that when we finally got to this apartment it was so weird for me to sleep by myself because I had to sleep with my aunt and my cousin and when we got out of there I had to sleep in the room with my mom so when I got here I didn't know like what to fucking do because I was sleeping with someone for so fucking long it was weird for me to go by myself now you guys have been there since last weekend. We have been here since 2016. Since last weekend. Yeah, 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 we've only been here for like two days. Oh, also like three hours? Yeah, about like five minutes. <laughs> oh, so like 30 seconds. It's been a good Literally like five left. seconds. Literally so it's been a solid like right army. now. Yeah, I, I, I literally just been in here. Like, as a matter of fact, I'm actually moving boxes as, as we speak. Still oh, has so the taste like of the McDonald's left tomorrow. in his mouth. Yeah, I'm actually being born right now. Oh, it's so like a solid tomorrow. I would say yesterday was Three tomorrow's years. next year. I would say that's crazy. So, Brad, worst day of your life. Well, <laughs> I was just gonna say like I dropped my chin ah. on the floor, but uh. Probably one of the worst days of my life. How about the time your parents found out <sighs> you were gay? Huh? How about the time when your parents found out you were gay? <laughs> no, no, no. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> That's a story for another day. <laughs> That's a story for a different Brad, not this one. That's but, the, um, yeah, yeah, Brad Charles. <laughs> yeah, Brad That's Charles. When, That's when Brad and Andrew finally come out of the closet. 
Okay. No, no, no. Uh, uh, cancel the show. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All the right. show's over. We're turning off the lights. All right, but Brad, actually, what do you think is your, your worst day? Well, there was this one time where this kid named Alex was like, hey, Brad, you want to record a podcast? And then I do it. And he's like, hey, Brad, what about that time when you came out of the closet? I think that was. <laughs> what, what about the time you got uh, pegged by your girlfriend? No, 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 that's not happened yet. So that's the story <laughs> for a different yet, time. Yet, yet. But um, uh, the worst, the worst day of my life was probably freshman year, and I was playing Mortal Kombat 11 with fucking Caden, and he was playing Devora, and he was <laughs> spamming. Oh, it was pissing me off. Freshman MK11, that doesn't add up. No, I was freshman year MK11. Yeah, it was towards the end of freshman year, and I was playing Mortal Kombat 11, Caden was playing the war, spamming the fuck out of me, and I was getting pissed, and I was just like yelling, you know, it's like, fuck off, Caden, and I was like, fuck off, Caden, you stupid son of a bitch, and then my mom walked by, and she thought I said it to her, and she was like, what did you just say to me, and I was like, I was like, I wasn't talking to you, and she was like, how dare you, and I was like, what? And then I saw her go to reach for my phone, and I grabbed it, and I was like, wait a minute, why are we taking my phone? And she's like, I'm so done with this disrespect, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, uh, okay. So then she was to take my Xbox, so I put my hand out on the Xbox. I'm like, no, 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 what's going on? <laughs> and she was like, she was like, fucking, she was like, give me the fucking Xbox. And I was like, okay, No. And then she fucking, like, I was, like, holding it, and, you know, we were, like, playing fucking tug-of-war with my very expensive Xbox, and I got, I, you know, I lost <laughs> Xbox, and she walked out, and she was like, Brad just hit me, and I was like, so I ran to my bathroom, and fucking, I was, cause I thought my dad, my dad was about to come in looking like he just took a rage spell from fucking classic clans, bro. So I fucking, uh -oh. I went in the bathroom. And he's like, I hear banging on my door, and I'm, he's like, get the fuck out here right now. And I was like, no, I didn't hit me, buddy. You know, like trying to like calm the situation. And fucking, homie unlocked the door. Fucking, my back got pushed against like the wall, and hey, homie got in my face, so I smacked the fuck out of him. And then I went to go escape. My dad grabbed me, put me, gave me the good old headlock. I didn't know what to do, so I like I was thinking, and I was like, "Oh yeah, caveman." So I bit his fucking leg, and he got off of me. He got off of me, and my mom tried That's grabbing true. me, and I had to like shoulder her off of me, so I didn't get stuck in that again. I grabbed my phone and I ran outside, and I went through the back door, and I went around the gate. I come through. Bro, homie just pops me in the face. He gave me the good old right right hook, you know, right to the fucking face. I had like a black eye and shit, and uh, I got back up, and like he was like, "Give me the phone," and I was like, "No," and then I, you know, I ran off, and I just went to go like find like a corner in my neighborhood where I could just be alone, and then I was um, I was. Um, Oh yeah, I was sitting there texting people, and then I remember I was texting Anna about it, and then her phone died, because this was before I was dating Anna. So I was texting Anna about it, and like, I was like, yeah, I don't need to get the fuck out of here, and she was like, texting me and trying to help, and then her phone died, and I guess she had like a panic attack at Walgreens, because she was worried something was going to happen to me, and then I was just walking around the streets for like two hours, and then my uh, parents started texting me saying, like, oh, if I didn't come home, they were going to report me as, like, a missing kid and shit. Even though they said, don't come home if you're not going to give me the phone. And I was like, I'm not going to give you the phone, so I'm not going to come home. So they were like, we're going to report you to the police, no, 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 And I was like, I was like, what the fuck? So I started making my way back home. And um, my dad's sitting in the front, the front of my gate area. He's sitting there waiting for me to come back. He pushes like a table towards me and he's like, put the phone here and I'll let you in. And I was like, no. And um, he was like, okay, then you're not coming inside. And I was like, 
okay, so I started walking away. Homie opened the gate, started running like Forrest Gump at me. I fucking, I had a really big head start, so I was fucking gone, dude. And then I was, I was, I was we were like, he was chasing me for a little bit, but he turned around and went back. And this is the biggest IQ, this is, this shit's fucking crazy. I come back home, he wasn't sitting in the front. I noticed the garage door was open, so I went in through the garage door. I went all the way back to my bathroom, turned off the light, and I sat next to my light switch. My dad walked right next to me in the bathroom to look out the window in my bathroom to see if I was walking back. Didn't see me. I don't know how. And he uh, went out to his car to go see, like, where I was. He drove to Ryan's house. He drove to, like, people's houses thinking I went there. And then, um, fucking... So I, I, I took advantage of him being gone. I plugged in my phone, hid it under my bed, and then I went to sleep, like, buried in pillows. The next morning, they still didn't know where my phone was, so I hid it in, I'm not joking, I hid it in my pants next to my dick. So they could, I didn't, because they want to look there, so no, I, no. I, you know, I did that, <laughs> so I didn't get my phone taken. I wouldn't have gotten my phone taken away if it wasn't for Highland Prep telling my mom that I got in trouble for being on my phone the other, like, the day after that. So, fucking, um, yeah, it was just a crazy day. So, in a way, this is all Kaden's fault. Yeah, shouldn't, should've never fucking done it. Thanks, Kaden. Yep. So, in a so way, because, be, because Kaden pressed A on the floor, this is all his fault. Because we were playing on... Because he kept doing that move where she fucking put a little fucking things in the fucking air and hit me in the head with it. What I don't in conclusion, guys, is, um, why the fuck? Don't spam in Mortal Kombat 11. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> in conclusion, don't buy Mortal Kombat. See, like, I, what I don't understand is why the fuck did your parents not think, like, hey, let's actually talk to our fucking kid. Dude, you know what? I don't understand anything about that night. Nothing fucking makes I, sense. I actually remember, like, the aftermath. I remember you were, you were telling me about, like, what was going on. Didn't you hide a second phone? I got grounded. I, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Biggest brain move, bro. I came home. I have a painting in my room. I hid my phone behind the painting. Never fucking looked over there. So they would, like, search my room when I'd go to the bathroom or something. And be like, they would look and, like, they were like, Looked through my whole room, never found it. They literally only found it because of Highland Prep. I was so fucking... I had such a big brain move. And then after they got... No, no, it wasn't the iPhone X I hid under there. It was the iPhone 5, my backup phone that I was hiding back there. And then I, I never got that phone back. I had an iPhone 5 until last year. And then my friend gave me a 7 for free. And then I bought an iPhone 11, so yeah. Pretty crazy. Still low, Alex. The iPhone five. Yeah. I can play Roblox Alex. Uno. Yeah. Fuck. Why won't we just play um, real Uno? Dude. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I remember. Um. Brad was. This is before I had an iPhone. And Brad was telling me on that he would get me his iPhone five. Still never did. And then I ended up using it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I remember when you called me and you're, you're telling me about all this shit. You um. Wasn't your phone like actually melting like as you're. Like talking to me about it, like wasn't your oh yeah? Because I remember this bitch Cheyenne smacked my phone out of my hand, so it got really hot. Yeah, and, and it, it got so hot to where there was burning a hole through the fucking camera. Yeah. Oh, Brad, was it that the white iPhone 5s that like? It was the had? it was the no, not the white one. It was the red iPhone X I had. Oh. But yeah, I did have that. That white phone. iPhone 5 was what I used. God, That's yeah, what I, I used. You had like an iPhone 5 life. for like half of like fucking, or for like the most of. I had like it like all life. last year. <laughs> I had it for like a year, and then I finally had to buy my own phone. It's crazy, dude. I've gotten in trouble for so much shit like that that I haven't. I literally haven't been in the wrong for like any of it. Like, maybe I shouldn't have been cussing, but god damn, bro, that whole night fucking no, it was, just a was so retarded. <laughs> I know. And I, I sit back and look at that, I'm like, what the fuck? And then, uh, another bad day was when I found out that, um, the girl I was talking 
talking to was actually talking to my friend the whole time, and uh, yeah, that that wasn't cool. So you're not into cuckold? So, yeah, there's, huh? So no, I'm not. I'm not in the cuckold. Wow. <laughs> All right. Well, we're beginning the podcast no, here, I'm guys. I'm not a civil Brad's man. Not, not a civil man. <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck that shit. Seriously, though, I don't. Yo, what's don't the funniest the thing? What's the funniest thing you've seen Andrew do? <laughs> probably the clown music. Let's bring this podcast joy again. I would say probably the clown music. That shit was so fucking funny because he was just yelling the at what? his dad. He was yelling at his dad that was just clown music playing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was the funniest fucking shit. <laughs> what about you, Matthew? What's the funniest thing you've seen Andrew do? Uh, I've seen Andrew do a lot of stupid shit. The most retarded but funniest at the same time is probably, when, uh, is probably when we were playing Black Ops 4 Zombies and like every five seconds he would just block out from any question Like we'd try and talk to him Andrew Nothing And then what 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 what, what, what? <laughs> It'd come yeah, Andrew, I'd, like, Nothing's happened like... He would do that like... How? <laughs> Dude I didn't realize how much I used to do that Andrew, dude, it was bad. Dude, it was, it was like my you were talking to someone who was lagging. My, my <laughs> parents would always tell me, like, Andrew, why do you fucking space out all the time? And I thought it was, like, just, like, I thought it was just a thing that they hated me about, but I didn't realize it was actually, like, something that my homies, did, like, noticed, too. <laughs> no, no, yeah, bro, like, like, really like bad. dude, literally, we would all just be talking in a party, and then someone would be like, hey, Andrew, and, and be like, yeah, what's up? And then, and then they would talk to you, and then you'd be like... Oh, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> or or, yeah, or, or they would finish their sentence like... and they would wait for a response and you would just never respond. <laughs> One time we were playing a game or something and we were like taking it seriously and then you stop moving. I'm like, hey, Andrew. Hey, Andrew. Hey, Andrew. Hey, Andrew. It took so long. I pulled up. I pulled up annoying orange saying, "Hey Apple," but right before I got to play, you you, you came back. Yeah, yeah, Andrew, you used to do that all the fucking time. You would literally just I, randomly disappear. I mean, <clears throat> sometimes I would just literally take off my mic and just go do something, or I would probably just go and look like at my phone and game. space out. Yeah, <laughs> mid game, mid like, zombies, just no. I, I don't know, man. So guys, um, anything else you want to talk about on the podcast? Um, Why do you poop? Uh, Why do I poop? All right, okay, okay here. We'll, 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 we'll talk about one last thing. What do you think is the... Okay, what do you think all of our superpower would be? Like, don't say what you think ours would, would be. But <coughs> pick a dumbass fucking superpower. Like, like here. I, I got one. I think Andrew's superpower would literally be him making other people space out. Like, he could just choose <laughs> to make other people just randomly just space out out of nowhere. Like, like if Boy, he was robbing a like... bank, he could just make someone space out. <laughs> make, with, make with the security <laughs> guard space out. So like, so like, make their brains just stop processing yeah, everything exactly. that comes out. You them. would, you would make like them do what, what, what you used to do. So like, if they're like on the phone with somebody, like, and then I do that to them, they're just gonna be like, uh, yeah, they're, uh, they're like, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Someone's like talking to their wife about why they cheated. Are they like about to get caught? They're just like, hey, did you just cheat on me? Well, no, but. Okay. Well, so, so they basically just turns to, they just turn through Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> uh, no, Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel. <laughs> what about me, Alex? Like, what would my superpower be? Your superpower? Oh no, I I feel like you would probably have some. You would probably have something really fucking weird. Like like you would probably. I make have people the ability... piss and shit themselves. That, I, that's exactly what I was gonna. Fucking say, dude. I was literally, literally going to say, you know what? You no. would probably have a power where you can just make someone like piss themselves. No, no, I got a better one. How about Brad's superpower is whatever, like, he's robbing a bank. Like, instead of having there's like, he can change people's voices into the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, so, 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 so when he points a gun at somebody and says, put the money in the bag, they're gonna be like, no, no, no. No, no, no. no, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm not gonna put the money in the bag. Dude, what else would that super- Let me tell you why. Dude, all of that superpower would do is be embarrassing. <laughs> Dude, I'll do it to my teachers. My teacher would be like, Hey Brad, you haven't turned in any work, and I've noticed you think you're gonna fail my class. Dude, dude, do it to the fucking president as he's like making a speech. My fellow Americans. <laughs> my fellow Americans. One time I was watching a movie when my father came in. And you know what he said to me? Son, here's a small loan. A million dollars. <laughs> and <laughs> All right. I just thought of a genius one for Matthew. Oh my god, this is perfect. Alright. Wow. So Matthew's superpower. So you know how Bane has like those things that inject fucking like it, like adrenaline or whatever into his like muscles yeah. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, talk to well, the well Matthew Matthew has that same thing on his body, but instead of injecting whatever the fuck he does to Bane, it injects like monster and red blood into his fucking body. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> He gets, he just gets a really big adrenaline boost. <laughs> oh, no, that sounds kind of cool. He starts bouncing off the wall. Oh my god. <laughs> I was thinking, I was thinking more of like, Matthew can, like Jesus, Matthew can turn any liquid into tea. Oh no. Oh, I was just thinking that he would like curse them with fucked up teeth. <laughs> oh, <for> fuck's sake. <laughs> One of them this was not racist. Them give it to racist. Oh no. Yeah, Andrews was like not racist. Mine was. Yo, Alex, look what I sing on Instagram. Tell me that shit don't look like Wait, a power. Wait, we never Rangers discussed though. what Alex's superpower would be. Yeah, what do you guys think my superpower would be? He would turn people Making... into cheese. <laughs> oh my god. I'm more than just my state. <laughs> uh, it just makes everyone extremely tired. I, oh, that actually yeah. that actually does fit my personality a lot. I could just make anybody tired. I actually kind of like that. Or you're su you're you're a super villain. Your name is Ramen Man. You wear the ramen fit. Oh you eat God. ramen. I could turn any I could turn anything into ramen. <laughs> You'll turn anyone to a cup of noodles. Yeah, dude. Like I and can, then you eat I them. Can, yeah, I I can turn anybody and anything into ramen noodles. And then you eat them. Dude, that, actually, that would actually be kind of cool, though. Imagine you're, like, fighting, like, a villain, just bitch slapping, he turns to fucking chicken ramen. <laughs> and then you eat him. Yeah, make make him into a them. table. Yeah. And then you eat him? Yeah. So, like, you, so, like, when you're, like, robbing a bank, you're like, put the money in the bag, and he's like, WAIT! I have one more to say. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you say it like that? Holy shit! Dude, dude, you know what you fucking sound like? Wait a you know, you know what you sounded like, Andrew? You sounded like one of those fucking, um, you know those stoplights on that you can, like, push a button and goes, wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you did. Like you sounded like one that, like, they were about to walk, though, and it knew that they were about to walk, it was like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> what were we gonna say, Andrew? Oh, I forgot, you could do that. Oh my fucking god, <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> Fuck. Do you actually not remember? God damn it. Well, I, I know I was going to say something that could probably change your life, but I, I don't remember. Alright, well. Thank you all for listening to the Cyber Station Podcast. Again, I am your host, Dodo. And I'll be joined by three guests. One of them is a returning guest. So, um, would you guys like to say goodbye? Bye. Goodbye, guys. Oh, wait, Bye. I thought you said... Andrew, would you like to say goodbye? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, thank you all for listening, and um, I don't have a closing words yet. I got one. Oh no! I got a four. <laughs>